your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. International Disaster Relief Organization, ISRAID, is once again partnering with the Ministry of Education to continue their efforts in assisting in the fight against COVID-19. The organization donated sanitizing supplies to primary schools on the island and is now donating to the public high schools. ISRAID Community and Education Specialist Valerie Seymour says once they shared the success of the program with their head office, they were given another donation by the Israeli Embassy in Mexico to allow, allow them to extend the effort. Uh, with great pleasure that we are here today to cover the five public schools in Grand Bahama. We know and we agree with the minister, safety first, but education always. And so we want to say that um, we, we know that these items are consumable. This need will go on as long as the pandemic goes on. And we realize, as you do, that health, education, water, uh, and hygiene are all the pillars that are going to allow us to get through this pandemic with healthy staff and students. Accepting the supplies were principals of the various high schools. On hand for the donation was District Superintendent Ivan Butler, who says the Ministry of Education is very pleased with their partnership with ISRAID, who continues to support the ministry. We have over 6,000 public school students who are engaged in our face-to-face -face instruction and we are very proud and pleased of the job that our principals, our school administrators, teachers and support staff have done in keeping, in keeping our schools and staff safe. And so today we are very pleased, very pleased with this wonderful donation to all our secondary schools. These gifts will go a very long way in helping us to maintain a safety, safe working environment for our students and teachers. The Israel Aid Foundation um, has been with us since Hurricane Dorian. They've assisted with um, psychological services. They've assisted with repairs. They've assisted with safe um, area for our after school programs. And today they are now assisting again with helping us to keep our environment safe. Meanwhile, the Grand Bahama Alumni Chapter's second annual turkey drive and food distribution taking place in the Caraval Beach community this year. As Shoshino Roll Farkasin reports, residents in the community say at a time when many are going through financial difficulty, every little bit helps. Thursday, November 26, at about 6 o'clock, the Grand Bahama Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Paint Freeport Orange. The town was painted in orange in observance of the United Nations Orange Campaign Drive with orange balloons that represented the elimination of violence against women and girls along with the Grand Bahama Alumni Chapter signage. The vehicles lined up and paraded through the community of Caraval Beach. The first stop was at home away from home, where one by one, members of the sorority delivered packages of food to feed the 42 residents at the home. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Holidays! We are so thankful and appreciate what y'all are doing for the home away from home and each and every person around. I see you all riding around, giving y'all stuff. We were able to reach out and target who we felt would have been some of the most impacted areas um, in the community and we identified home away from home and it is a shelter so to speak for persons of various dynamics so we have um, persons with disabilities we have persons that have um, domestic violence reasons where they need to you know get away from their home we have persons that may be older in age or just persons that don't have a home to go to and this place was something that we felt near and dear to our heart to reach out to and provide them not only with thanksgiving dinner which is a very minute portion of it but there were 42 individuals that we were able to bless with love with service with compassion 
um, with empathy and with a smile. The initiative fell under the economic development of the sorority's five-point thrust. Chair Talisha Sands Pinder says the next stop was to the residents of Caravel Beach, where turkeys were dropped off with a special message. She notes that with the island's economic crisis, there are many who are in need of upliftment. We started with a virtual motorcade and then it ended up being a complete one by one motorcade. Um, every individual, for the most part, our chapter, um, all of our members of our chapter, we was able to donate turkeys in the community. Um, we knocked on every door in the Cava, most all the doors in the Cava Beach um, community and the overwhelming response from our local individuals was very, um, they were very appreciative. They thought that we were actually Santa, I should say um, Santa Claus in the community, um, for lack of a better word. Um, we brought tidings of just a simple dinner for their family. The residents say it felt as if Christmas came early as they shared why this is what is needed at this time. We got to practice giving. You know, we could talk about giving, but when we really actually put it into action, then we are showing the world what we are made of. And I am thankful for people like you all. Shina Wolf Farkasen, ZNS Network News. Thanks, Shashina. Now the next stop is a tank and toy drive slated for mid-December. Today is being recognized as the 35th International Day for the Abolition of Slavery Across the Globe. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs releasing a statement on the observance which says that the Bahamas is pleased to join the global community in observing this very important day. This International Day was established by the United Nations in 1986 and it highlights modern day slavery with which many around the world are faced with. The statement continues the Bahamas Constitution guarantees protection from slavery and forced labor and states no person shall be held in slavery or servitude and no person shall be required to perform forced labor. The statement ends by noting that the ministry will continue to denounce slavery in all its forms and work with all countries of the world to demand its abolition. Now stay with us. We'll be right back after this break.